All right. It is celebrating 100 episodes of Rivals. That's a lot of episodes. Yeah. That's a lot of episodes. Yeah, wow. That is <laughs> Look at all these wonderful faces episodes. that are here now, too. I know. Uh, all right. Oh everyone God. introduce Hi, yourselves. Oh, Say hello. Like, go. How do we go start? Order? How do we do yeah. So yeah. many of us. You figure that out. I think it's you, Brandon. I think it's oh. you. You're in the top. Everybody, yeah, in, the top. everybody yeah. on three. Okay. Who, who, who uh, in Brady Bunch terms, wh- who would Brandon oh, be? Is oh, that um, the little, the, 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 the littlest? Yeah, oh, he's Cindy. 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 Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll take that. I'm the maid. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Alice. Alice well, rocks. Well, I, well, no, okay, I guess I'll go first. Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Brandon Stennis. Uh, I was a cast member from season one to season eight. Uh, I played Ren Leodon, uh, the wild, rambunctious uh, elf who liked to burn things and all that good stuff. And yeah, yeah. Heck yeah. yeah. Uh, Tanya, I think you're next. Oh, yeah, Tanya's next. <laughs> oh, are we going in, in order? I guess hey, so. I'll try oh, yeah. hand it. Hand it off when you're done. Are you <laughs> sure. a snake sort of thing? Yeah. No, yeah. it's fine. Uh, I'm it's Tanya. Funny. I played Sleece from the beginning till the current season, still on the show. They haven't kicked me off yet. And uh, <laughs> I started as Paladin. Now I'm a Fallen Paladin slash Blood Hunter. She's mm-hmm. seen some things, mm-hmm. especially today. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, and then I think that's me. Hey, I'm a dude. I usually play Gosrick Nomad. Uh, he, I was a GM this past season. I've been with the rivals now from season seven uh, to ten. So I've been having a blast. This is episode four, uh, season four for me in the books. Uh, yeah. Serena. 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 Oh, uh, Serena. You're muted. You're muted. You're muted. Sorry. Oh, and then I was hey. muted. <laughs> Keep in score. <laughs> Hello, um, I'm Serena Marie. I played Ashbourne, a very uh, buff, smashy ranger from seasons one through six. And I'm just really excited to to sit down and chat with you all. Thanks for having us. Yeah, uh, I'm Sharif. I uh, play Shaka, uh, tiefling celestial warlock from season one to now. Um, and I just love everybody. So I'm happy that we're all <laughs> in the same party. We're all, we're yeah. all in a big party today. This is yeah. awesome. Uh, hi, uh, I'm Latia. You all know me as the small, totally adorable, never murdered anyone in her life, Erica Crumb Monk mm-hmm. from season six to now. Um, and I'm really just happy to be here with everybody. I miss all these faces. Mm-hmm. Uh, hi, everybody. I'm Eugenio. Uh, I play Kent, the Tiefling Rogue, uh, but I'll be co DMing next season. So I've got to figure out what's going to happen to Kent. Um, and I, I, love all of these humans that are not here with us weekly now, but I never got to play with any of you all, so it's nice to be on a call with you. <laughs> uh, I am uh, I'm Brian. I play Virgil, the Asimar Storm Sorcerer and um, from seasons 9 and 10, and yeah, outside of virtually, I've not gotten to play with anyone here, so it's wonderful to have us all on the same call. Yay! <laughs> Uh, hey everyone, Ooh. my name is uh, Carlos Luna. I play Knock Knock and uh, sometimes Robbie Jellymint. Uh, I don't remember the the last episode I was on, but uh, it was a good wow. one. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, hey guys, I am Cicero Holmes. I played Perrin Underbow, your halfling bard, uh, through from seasons one through six, and. Uh, Man, it is so wonderful to be part of this family reunion. Um, I brought the potato salad, so y'all. Thank oh, <laughs> goodness. We all brought this. All we got. We all brought potato. Oh, we all brought. Yeah. Yeah. That's all we brought. Yeah. 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 Potatoes, Rivals invested in, in potato salad. That's that's where we spent all the Rivals money. <laughs> I love that. Uh-huh. Oh goodness. Oh, man. Well, it's really great to have everybody here. Uh, we we asked you all for um, memories and and questions, and the memories we're crossing our fingers we'll get to with the videos. Um, but I think we have some questions, Brian. You wanna you wanna kick this little Q and A off? Oh sure, let me see here. Um, this is actually mm, I don't know that a non question should we open or and that's mm, that's a actually no that's. That's a great, that's great. Yeah. We'll start, we'll start with this because this is wonderful. So uh, for 
the past cast members. This oh, I'm so for... sorry to interrupt. Can we oh. can we please do the whoosh? Uh, it's uh, been so yeah. long since I've been. Oh my gosh! Yes. I'm so sorry. Awesome. I'm so yeah. sorry. We're talking, oh, we're talking about previous. We're yeah. talking about previous stuff on Rivals. Right, so I'm like, so yeah. Sorry. Dude, yeah. yeah. If you, if you don't, if you, if you don't oh mind, I, I would love to ask if you could share your whoosh captain duties with Carlos. Since oh, Carlos yeah. sort of like oh, yeah. picked the whoosh, nice. so yeah. could maybe you two lead yeah. us through this whoosh together? Hat. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can take this whoosh. I got a brace. <laughs> no. Ooh, this is okay. I got to get, I gotta, I gotta get the squat. Okay, you ready? It's been a long time. So get those fingers ready. Okay. Previously yes. on Rivals of Waterdeep. <laughs> whoosh. Nice. I'm so happy. Look at the chat. Look oh at the chat. Oh, oh, my oh my gosh. We love it. It's so yes. good. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Oh That's great. Oh my gosh. Oh, that. oh man. And, and, I'm, and I'm going to fix this so we can properly see the chat. So keep talking. <laughs> um, so this question, this question came in um, to rivals on Twitter. We asked, we asked fans to basically viewers to share like, Hey, do you have questions for us? AKA all of us. Mm -hmm. And um, for the past cast members for, for Brandon, Serena, Carlos, Cicero, where has your tabletop journey led you since, um, since leaving rivals? Anyone who wants to go first and we'll pass it back and forth. <laughs> it's such a big question. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. I don't know. Well, let's see. I guess I'll, I'll go first. Um, Man, it so where my tabletop journey has led me since Rivals has been to more tabletops. Um, yeah, I've been guesting on a lot of shows. Uh, uh, been playing in my in my personal time. Uh, this was my first experience and my first exposure to Dungeons and Dragons, and and like it has become a new love of mine. Uh, as well as it like started, it kind of kick started my voice server journey so there's like so many different things that have happened as a result of being on rivals uh i'm gonna pass it to carlos next <laughs> oh yeah um i've gotten to do a lot of cool stuff with tabletop <laughs> um i got to play with critical role at blizzcon uh that was really cool i've uh played with um uh, on dimension 20 as well and worked on a bunch of their shows behind the scenes and in front of the camera so that was really cool um but yeah i just get to do a lot of cool stuff it's been awesome <laughs> uh i will kick it to brandon oh uh well yeah i haven't played much of DD since i left uh i knew this was gonna happen especially when i started playing with this group that i was like i don't know if i could play a different character with a different group of people uh but i have been looking forward to like possibly like jumping in again uh, but I like being around everyone right now. It's like it's just I don't, it's so crazy that this started like three years ago, you know. Uh, so I, yeah, I, I I've just life has been busy, but um, yeah, I want to I want to I want to do some uh, Dungeon and Dragons soon. So yeah, uh, Serena. <laughs> yes. Um, so I think that my tabletop journey has kind of led me to doing a lot more behind the scenes stuff. So uh, I work now at Critical Role as their marketing and community manager. So uh, I, I manage all, all of that. Um, and uh, occasionally I will guest on charity streams and uh, with you know friends that I've met like along my journey, which is really great. It, it's, it's awesome to be able to play with people who just make your heart happy and for causes that also uh, can be impactful. So I've been having a really good time doing that. Yeah. <laughs> Love that. Is that everybody yeah. that has left I the cast? That's it. all of That's you, right? It, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all of us. I, think that, I, I don't know. <laughs> Is there like There's not like 10 people know. waiting in the next door for another right? Zoom call? Like, is that no? <laughs> yeah. I love it. Um, well, since a bunch of us, uh, I say us, I have not yet, uh, Brian and I are coming up, but since many of you uh, have had a chance to DM the table, uh, here's a question that we got uh, for those of you who, who sat in that chair. Um, are there any hooks or adventures from your seasons that you prepared but never got to explore fully? Mm. Um, and or if you had the chance to go back and add an episode or two to flesh them out, 
What do you think the rivals would have done? It's a big question. Tell us about the things that you didn't get to play with when you were DMing. Mm is the long and short of it. I'm not going to choose someone because I feel like this is a question that's going to require, I'm just going to vamp until someone starts answering. Well, I can start since I- Great. Okay, thank you. Um, <laughs> since all of you kept forgetting you were in jail, it would have been great to get you out of jail earlier in the season. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and I really, I, and since Brandon's here, what happened with you and Leto? Uh, oh, <laughs> is that to be discussed in public? <laughs> that answered my question. That answered my question. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, wow. that that answered my question more than yeah, I really needed to know. <laughs> um, but I would have loved to like kind of dig more into Gazrik's past and a little bit into Rin because Brandon always plays him close to the chest. Mm -hmm. We don't know mm -hmm. much about our our elfy uh, <laughs> wizard. Yeah. yeah. So sorcerer boy. There what? was like, there was, I know there was like, uh, I think it was a few seasons, like, oh, I think it was when Serena was DMing and I was, there was like one time, I, I think I was trying to um, talk about Ren's like mental health because it was explaining a lot of the stuff that he was frantically doing all the mm -hmm. time, but just, it just like, just never happened. Mm -hmm. uh, but that, that's one thing I did want to kind of speak on, but uh, yeah, just to kind of give his character a little bit more depth too. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I I have one as well. Um, also, also involves a Rin, actually, sort of. <laughs> um, I had sort of a, uh, so, a thing where uh, Rin and Duo had become bounty hunters. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it best. only lasted. Right? But but it only lasted like maybe two episodes, and I mm. had a whole like <laughs> yeah. really? high uh -oh, thing wow. where like where like y'all were gonna like accidentally uncover the main plot along with the rest of the, <laughs> the party but it, it just uh, didn't happen. i would have loved to see both of y'all yeah uh, try to capture people and <laughs> it's so good that, that would have been good yeah. that was so good. good yeah i want y'all to know i'm not not taking notes right now <laughs> <laughs> not absolutely taking yeah, notes yeah, yeah. yeah okay uh -huh. um i wish i had so for those of you who haven't figured it out yet, my season was done completely by the seat of my pants. I didn't know that y'all were fighting doppelgangers until like the back half of the season. Um, and I wish I had figured that out beforehand <laughs> 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 to give you a little bit more, uh, a little bit more time to unravel that. But uh, Masu did a really good job with picking up that particular thread. Yeah. Um, I, and I kind of wish y'all had gotten to the confectionery in Candlekeep. We, there was a about it. oh that's right we talked about it but we, we didn't get a chance to get to the confectionery i feel like uh i dm very similarly to you latia in that it's just by the seat of my pants and um originally my season was supposed to be like a scooby-doo adventure where each room had its own like story so it was going to be like almost like an anthology type of thing um, and then I decided to have a time traveling frog <laughs> and was like, well, th this is where we are now. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, I, I love uh, the chaos, I guess that like D&D allows, right? Like it, you don't really have to know, you mm -hmm. just have to follow the lead of the players at the table sometimes, so. <laughs> Anybody else got unexplored plot lines? I don't really have unexplored. There was just a, a lot of times when I wanted, <laughs> there's unexplored stuff that like other people did. That's what I'm thinking of. Mm -hmm. uh, like a, a lot of that duo stuff was just so funny to me. And I could just like watch them the entire time. The time traveling stuff as well. Mm -hmm. uh, Sharif, your your cube thing. I don't know why, but oh. like the mm -hmm. that uh when ren was stuck in that other world type thing or oh, yeah, the yeah. Lime or whatever yeah like i don't know that, why yeah. that is Very. so incredibly interesting to me i was just like yes i'm like show me more of that uh the dream stuff that cicero was doing yes. like uh, like i love how that yeah, was just like the, the uh holiday the rivals version of holiday specials right <laughs> 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 oh that's right wasn't it yeah, yeah. wasn't it like robbie like couldn't do anything wrong like he was like right yeah he, he yeah like yeah 100 luck <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah everything he that did was so he funny. was just yeah he was just uh yeah. he was awesome was uh there was there was in that season there was uh we, we kind of went to like this mall there was like this travel oh, yeah you know the yeah, market the wandering emporium yeah the wandering emporium oh, down yeah. the yeah. and uh there were so many shops that i had oh. i had workshopped 
<laughs> in that place that you guys didn't go to. Yeah, they, we just go to one. Yeah, yeah. so yeah, <laughs> like I think uh, one group went to one to get food, and then another group went and got weapons. Mm -hmm. And Shaka went to get a very rare weapon that Robbie oh, sure. also mm -hmm. wanted. Oh yeah, that's and, right. and, and, I remember we were annoying. Yes. Like I remember us <laughs> being annoying during that scene. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, but there were yeah there were there were several different shops in there that would have that would have potentially given you things that may have may have helped you on your journey. So. That, that's what we didn't get to. I have my notebook here, so I can just go page by page <laughs> this past season. Oh my gosh. Notebook. Hello. Hello. I got a no I've, been, I've been writing stuff down. It's he, he brought a notebook for to my brunch. life. Let me tell you what. Um, <laughs> uh, now, I just want you to know you can choose to either read from that notebook or just tear out the pages and give them to me and Brian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll just email them to you. I know. I yeah. think the real, the, a couple of things that I really wanted to see more of was like, I really wanted to more, explore even more of the backstory of like Kent and Virgil. Cause like we got a little bit in this yeah. season and like, <laughs> but I, I think it would have been uh, like a little more of their history and bringing in, but this season was also really about Waterdeep. So I also wanted to like tie it in about that, the city itself, which is really fun to explore. Um, some things that I uh, thought you guys would uh, pick up on. I really thought you guys would have noticed that Gazrick was a doppelganger. I really, really? assumed like okay. early on. <laughs> yeah. Like that, that would like that, that would have yeah. gotten. Cause like I had all thing about like, that was the Graz giveaway. It was like the idea of like them transported. You would have seen Gosric and Eric go in, and so you'd have known something was wrong with uh, like our her and like sort of. I, so I was like, when we got to the end, I was like, I, I'm, I'll, I'll cherry pick some stuff so it like ties in the other things. Um, but yeah, love it. <sighs> Did we talk about that on on while we were live or backstage? We have mentioned at some point that all of that us never getting the Gosric thread was <laughs> yeah. was because we all every last one of us just met a game and they were like, "Well, Celise rolled a nat twenty, we're fine." Yeah, like we're fine. Fine. Yeah. we're fine. We just skipped over everything you had planned for that interaction. Period. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're good. Before Gosric was outside, you insided the situation and were like, oh, someone's playing me. And then you never... We're uh, fine. Don't, right, we're fine. I, now, to be fair, I thought it was Arnea playing me. I never thought about yeah. Gosric being a doppelganger because yeah. when we had conversations about doppelgangers, not everybody was feeling it, so I figured it was dropped. <laughs> mm -hmm. But then yeah. I met Masood as a DM. Yeah. Yeah. It, was, yeah. it, it was a nice surprise. Yeah, no, it wasn't. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> it was very nice. <laughs> Yeah, like, for you. Oh wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Um let's see. So uh Carlos mentioning duo as has, has yeah. brought me to this one. Yeah. Um so it's a question for duo, and I'm gonna kinda aim it to anyone who has <laughs> voiced. Yeah, we've all been duo. <laughs> who has uh, voiced yeah. duo. The angel. <laughs> because I love how every single one of you are like, yeah, yeah. Uh so it's uh it's, it's actually from uh, TTRPGIFs. Hey duo, big fan. What's your favorite sweet treat? It has to be Carlos. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's right. It Me? has to be you answering as duo because I love your duo voice and I haven't heard it in forever. God, I, I can't even so remember long. it. My duo oh. voice is like a low rent version oh, of your yeah. duo voice. So it's like a VHS tape that just keeps getting like dubbed like, over yeah. and over right, for yes. every person. It's like <laughs> gangster baby, right? Like it's, it's like that's gangster, baby. Say, gangster baby, mobster baby. Yes. Yeah. Okay, mobster yeah. baby. It's like yeah. uh like um I, I feel like I'm only doing an impression of yours, though, at this point. Oh, wow. like, yeah, I only hear your voice doing it. Like, oh, no, because kind of you made it so silly. Forever. Okay. I tried to make him, like, super serious and sweet, and you made him, like, super silly. Like, I made him a mobster do. baby. Yes. Yeah. I love either way. I love it. I've been watching a, by the victor. Oh, yeah. I've been watching a lot of the TikToks and watermelon <laughs> and mustard. It's just like, mm. and also, have you ever had bananas and may mayonnaise? Oh, yeah, that's the stuff right there. That's Your that's duo? the best duo I got. Oh duo? We thought it was bad with Brian in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, that, no. makes, that makes perfect sense. For <laughs> Not you, uh, Brian. Yeah. Other Brian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's definitely gotten a lot sillier. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, I yeah. Love that. On, I sure. love it. Oh gosh. Um, should we should we try and do now? <laughs> Every time I've done a QA and a and tried to do a lightning round question, it never works, but I'm going to try it again. Maybe this time will be the time for me. Okay, sure. so rapid fire, 
Uh, and I'll just, I'll, I'll pick y'all randomly. Who is your favorite NPC from the Rivals past that oh. you didn't create? So if you DM'd, not one of ones that you came up with. And mm -hmm. I imagine that we might have some double, double, doubles. Y'all talking. Duos. I'm yes. done talking. <laughs> duos. Duos. I understand that everyone's no. going to say duo. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> I was, yeah, um, I was thinking duo. <laughs> all right. So let me, here, you know, let's, we play D&D &D here. There's 10 of us. I'll grab a D10. Yeah. There you oh, go. Oh, no. Look at that. that. My favorite thing to do. Okay. Not so. That. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, that is on my screen anyway. That's Carlos. What? No, I just went. Sorry, Someone else go. I'm thinking. <laughs> all right, all right, fair enough. You didn't. I, I got mine. I can. I can go real okay, fast. Okay. All right. There you go. My you go. favorite NPC that I, I honestly I wish I got more interactions with was the random fisherman dude. Uh, we went to uh, Icewind Dale, who was like, "Hey, there's a sea <gasps> right. monster," and we like. I was trying to get out like, of the God, too busy. This is uh, like sub optional oh material. Like, I got a main quest to, to follow. I'll get back to this. Yeah, I wish I, I was yeah, trying to bait y'all so much. Him. I was yeah. trying to bait y'all so much to do that. Quest. <laughs> wait, wait, <laughs> isn't that the fisherman that Rin murdered <laughs> in the street? No, 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 it was I, another fisherman. I've heard no, of how many fishermen in the street Rin has <laughs> murdered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, who, who was who was the rapper? Little Who's Smoke. Little Smoke. Oh, smoke. Little smoke. Oh, that's mine. Oh, great. Oh. Smoke is mine. Yes. Oh, <laughs> little God. Smoke. Yeah, Little Smoke. Uh, that's a Callum, great right? choice. That's his original name. Wow. <laughs> Who, who was renamed? Oh, yeah. Renamed Serena, by, Serena renamed named him that because she forgot his real name. Sounds right. Smoke. Um, tape. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mine uh, is Kagoya, you know, my my oh, uh, patron. Yeah. Uh, mm, uh, yeah. That was an awesome character. Well, I, I, it's not really an NPC because Eric played her. So, uh, sure, well, does that count? Yeah, uh, maybe. yeah, yeah I mean, definitely. Um, definitely. Yeah. We'll allow it. Yeah. All right. Who else? I forgot his name, uh, but we called him Lora Indiana Jones. Carlos oh, Volo. Him. Volo. That was Volo. 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 Yeah. Oh, I was yeah. love Volo. Too. Yeah. I know uh, he's like a main D and D like cornerstone, but right. boy, oh boy, Carlos is Volo. I sure did not remember you calling him that, and now I'm like, yeah. oh, Kent is yeah. also. Oh right. no, I called. Oh, right. I think I called him that. <laughs> yeah. No, I, call, I was the one that called him Lora Indiana yes. Jones. Yes. Mm. That was Tanya, 100%. <laughs> I mean, okay, I'm gonna say, surprised? I'm going to say mine uh, real quick, and then I, I have to say something about Laura Indiana Jones, but mine will always and forever be, because I was at this live show and it I nearly died, was Gary the Lime. Gary. Oh, oh, Gary the Lime. <laughs> I, I just waited for to Tanya's face after that. <laughs> that episode, I didn't go and get thought I was going to die. <laughs> so um, also, since you all brought it up, this feels like a good opportunity to say um, that uh, speaking of Laura Indiana Jones, Kent's full name is in fact Kentucky Jones. No. Because he's an archaeologist. No. Uh, no. Uh, no. no. You all know that I know, now. I know uh, this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You, can't, you can't unlearn that now. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Anyway, who else has favorite NPCs? Oh, my goodness. He's like running from um, a boulder. I don't oh my know. god. My, my first thought it, it's the it's the worst because it it just like Masood did a really great job of this. It just the tavern keeper when we got the toothbreaker hook. Yeah. And oh, yeah. This poor poor right. person who was like wrapping up things and it's like, "Oh, we got customers." And just the way you had him sadly Bruce Banner at the end of the Hulk walk away into the attic like, well, I, this is why you don't make friends. I was like, I felt my so heart, bad. we're the worst people ever. Yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> I mean, it comes back. If you are, I'll, I can send you his name. I've got it somewhere in my notebook. No, because yeah. I'm sure he was not, he was, he probably, we we didn't, we told um, our her not to call them. Oh, yeah. really, really, like, you know what? Oh, yeah. It's fine. This is fine. Yeah, I tried to make that better. Dahani tried to make that better. So maybe he'll think more kindly of Dahani than the rest of y'all. It's <laughs> true. Wow. I'm based yeah, on how today's. So oh, sorry. Sorry, Shreve. No, 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 no. You, you can go. You sure? Um, based on how today's episode ended, I'm going to say Zaraj, and I don't know if he's a canon character or not. Oh. Ooh. No, I think I love that. Be. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, absolutely. Yeah, I love um, what Carlos did with Zaraj. Uh, I was saying I was saying Zaraj because of kind of how things resolve today. Mm -hmm. So go back and watch the episode to yeah. see what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. But also just the way that Zaraj, like uh, Sharif was talking about, and Sharif, I want you to repeat that. Um, the way Sharif talked about him 
from the way Carlos introduced him to the way that he changed to how we interacted. And then the way everyone kind of wove his story and his motivation in culminating in what happened today. Yeah. And, and man, I loved so much how things evolved to Solis getting that like hero moment of facing off Siraj and, uh, mm, and he was uh, kind of half dead though. <laughs> I, I know, but I loved, like, I was kind of trying to tempt you, like, will you work with him? Like, no. to try to take on this thing. And then it turned into this huge battle against the entire Black Network. And, uh, oh, yeah. And Ren, like, snuck him back of him and, uh, <gasps> tried to sneak it. It, it was yeah, just, like, the funnest planning. episode to do. Um, and then it, like, ended with that final, like, blow. It was just final great. Blow, yeah. 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 I, I, I love Zaraj. Uh, I, I feel like everybody added to his uh, story. And in this season, we saw another part of his, uh, like his life, which was cool. So, yeah. yeah. It's, it's dope. Is that, does anybody else want to toss in an NPC? Hmm? I think that was everybody, right? Yeah. Sure. Well, yeah. I, yeah. I had to say, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, okay. I say, yeah. Say it was three. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess for a second mention, uh, what was it like? The It was the creature that was like the mechanic when we got into like the tank when we were in hell. Oh, oh uh, Mad, Mad Maggie. Maggie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's oh, awesome. I, yeah. <laughs> I love Mad Maggie. I'm love Mad Maggie. Oh, uh, uh, another mention, I love uh, Serena's leaf. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> was so great. Like, Just- he... <laughs> Best dad. Like, yeah, yes. he, yeah. He he was so like, I want to hang out with you and reunite you with your family. Like, I want to <laughs> just have a beer with you. Oh, like it was great. Yeah, I love Leaf. I love it. I love it. Brian, you got another one for us? Um, let's see here. Oh, this can be. This actually can be kind of lightning round and we can just go in order. Um, but it's a question. It's a wow. <laughs> You gotta come for me like this on a Sunday. <laughs> um, do you? Um, so, question for everyone: Do you have a special thing you do um, before or after a session? And um, for this, we can say like for for rivals or streamed or you know a TTRPG session period. Uh, is there like a special thing you do before or after? Brandon, let's start with you. Well, I know we used to like get food. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, after, like ha- that was halfway, huge. yeah, halfway yeah. through, uh, like uh, a session, I'd be like, I really want Popeyes. Really, <laughs> every time, it's Popeyes every, every down the session, street, down the, yeah. and I was like, I want those fries. I'm gonna go straight there. Yeah, yeah, Popeyes is like, my favorite. Like you know, after a D D session. <laughs> Yes. They are not sponsoring this, sir. Yeah, yes. they, yeah. <laughs> they would like Although, to. No, I mean, look. Right. Okay, look. Right. Okay. Right. Um, I, I don't, I, I will say I used to, uh, and I got this from one of my players in, in that I've been playing with for years and years, but I used to audition my dice at the beginning of every session. Um, mm. But now I can't, I can't do it because we use digital dice because they squish so good. Uh, <laughs> so I don't, I don't do that anymore. Uh, I guess I always make the rest of the rivals watch me as I like put my eyeliner on in my phone selfie mm. <laughs> <laughs> pre-game ritual every week for rivals. Um, I will say, uh, kind of piggybacking on that, I make sure that in the Zoom window we match, like we match the stream, mm-hmm. so that I can see the Kent Virgil reactions like in real time. Make sure that they're all all. Hey. Alive. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That is mandatory. It is. I like to hop into the call, like, right, like, at least when the room opens or, like, kind of towards the top, just so I get set up. And then I go use the bathroom, fill up on water. I, like, walk away for, like, 15 minutes. And then I'm there, like, five to ten minutes right before. I'm like, all right, we're good. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, in live studio shows, um, I would like would love to get there early, kind of for the same thing, just to set up and just mm-hmm. to get my stuff situated. Um, but also just to like check in with every person and ask them how their week was, because I yeah. feel like that kind of goes into like what the game's going to be too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I don't know. Yeah, that's what I do. I just check in. And then afterwards, like that's what we would do. We would go eat. We'd go find mm-hmm. like that one bar. Oh. 
by the studio. Yes. Oh, and it's just, gone like, now, man. by the way. Biscuit it's man. gone. No, it's not. Really? No. The, oh, I mean, uh, no. not Biscuit Man. The uh, oh. Mexican restaurant. Oh, the oh yeah, the old oh, 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 yeah, restaurant. No. Yeah. The Salvadoran yeah. place is gone, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. I thought about the other Yeah, thing. no, that was a, I, I agree, sir. That was a big part of, like, playing live, yeah. you know, was, like, food, hugging and checking in <laughs> and, like, and like you know, shout 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 out to Joe who did like all the production. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. you know, um, yeah, because he, he handled that stuff. We pretty much could just like check in with each other and hang out mm -hmm. and chill. And then like the lighting was all good. And then we went. And then yeah. we all went out and ate ate and had drinks. It was like mm -hmm. perfect. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, was great. I, I think I think my my favorite part of because yeah, doing it doing live was was amazing. Um, my favorite part was was checking in with everyone um but improving with carlos uh, right before we yes, start Rick oh my god that was gonna be mine yeah <laughs> that, that was gonna be that was what i was gonna say yeah yeah yeah, yeah. It, um you know seeing, and like making people laugh before we went live exactly, that exactly. was like the Getting funnest the, thing yeah yeah, yeah. That, like it's it's the warm-up right like you yeah. know if you go to any studio show um the there's always a stand-up comedian that would come out and would warm up the crowd to just to kind of get the laugh oils moving. Yeah. Laugh um, oils, and that's important. Laugh right. Oils. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. I hate and, that. Uh, <laughs> I hate it so much. I'm <laughs> sorry. Continue. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> we would basically have a, a mini podcast before yeah. the yeah. show, yeah. before yeah. it went live. Yeah, we there would be like, yeah. yeah, we would just like, you know, just talk about stuff that you would hear on a podcast, like, can Movies. the Terminator beat up Robocop? Like that can type they? of stuff. We would. Right. <laughs> what? Right. So can they? <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, it was. I don't know. That was like one of my favorite things. And then kind of like settling down and being quiet before we went live, and then yes. saying something right before we went live yes. to make everyone yes. laugh. And then we're live, yes. and everyone's laughing. That's uh, usually yeah, what happened. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that definitely <laughs> happened a lot. Yeah, we, we would like start to stream laughing. Yeah. <laughs> In five, four, three. <laughs> Robocop couldn't hit Terminator. Right. One. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. Like that. Was, yeah. 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 I love that. That's great. Yeah, that was that was fun. And uh, yeah, always. Uh, I love you, stupid nerds. Oh uh, yeah. Before, before <laughs> an episode. Yes. Oh. Yeah. So, yeah. See yeah. so, There you go. Wow. Yeah, and I love you, stupid nerds. <laughs> uh, oh. I said in chat, like I don't, I, I, I look forward to one day playing in person, like actually playing rivals in person mm -hmm. with y'all, um, because yeah, my my ritual before and after like listening or being in has often been like brunch but right. like like Eugenio getting getting like fixing everything mine is usually like yelling at my microphone from the kitchen because uh -huh. I'm like getting everything ready and it's just the it's just the couch here right. so yeah <laughs> like, yeah okay <laughs> yeah mine is kind of getting the dice I want to use that day and since we're mm. Sunday if it's not the dice I just used on Thursday it's like there's just always one corner of my desk that is nothing but dice now <laughs> and also having the dice jail on hand. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, literally, uh, you can't see it, but there's like a dice jail behind me from Wormwood. And mm. and now I'm playing with dice I made, so it's even weirder. Oh, cool. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so I now they go in the jail, too. <laughs> <laughs> Did you That's say, Latia? I said I should have auditioned my dice today because I mean, I, I, but also like if I if I had made those attacks during the episode today, Celise wouldn't have gotten that final moment. So I'm That's really true. really glad that I whiffed. Like I realized That's that like, after the fact. Yeah, that was a very point. rare whiff. Very rare. Like, yeah. yeah, all four. Well, I was thinking. I was thinking about that. I was like, man, I, I like in the fight. Like everyone kind of had a moment. Tahani like, got got like uh, sort of punched out in a way, and then was underneath the layer effects. And I was like. Yeah, oh, dust, I mean, dust, dust, dust. Okay. your fists aren't magic yet, right? Like, the, no, no, they're, I mean, they're totally like, <laughs> yeah. my yeah. attacks are magical. Those, oh, they uh, are all magical, right? I just right, right. missed a ton. Yeah, I just missed, missed a bunch. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I love it. Anybody else got rituals for us? I think that might have been okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just make sure my water bottle's full. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. Which is, yeah. That's very important. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Coffee yeah. and water. Yeah. Pretty yeah. Much. Calling Brandon. That was a ritual. Uh, <laughs> that's true. Where are you? Okay. Oh, my fan is out of reach. Well, right. <laughs> no. <laughs>
I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, the, the, the only ritual I could think of when we were live was I would always go to the same Dunkin' Donuts and get coffee. Mm-hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. And, and I'd always have it on my, you know, on the, uh, on the table, so I I was trying not to show the logo because I was like I'm not trying to advertise. Oh uh, yeah, I, remember that. I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I always had D- Dunkin' Donuts and water, pretty much. Um, you know, so yeah. Carlos and I, I would drink that. a lot of Red Bull. Now that I'm remembering, <laughs> yeah. yeah, we yeah. were like, oh my God. I like with Red lived Bull. off Red Bull yeah. like during that time. Oh, yeah. Some of our rivals just made me drink Red drink Bull. Drink Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> Sponsor. <us. laughs> What was like, that? That was a different. I don't remember the last time, time I had. It might have. Yeah, it might have been that last episode. I feel like wow. I haven't had Red Bull in like forever. <laughs> wow. Wow. We I feel were, like I want to we go back really and watch causing. old episodes and just know <laughs> that now. You can yeah. know that. Like, it's actually, <laughs> yeah. Just try it on Red Bull. I'm pretty sure oh, that, that there is. was still Red Bull in the fridge when I got to <laughs> my, my one sense. in studio episode. <laughs> <laughs> but it'd be crazy because I'd be drinking Red Bull at like 11 a.m. or something yeah. like that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, we would go to the um, CVS by our house and pick up our Red Bull before the show. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. God, amazing. Amazing. Oh. I love it. Uh, let's see. What do we got? Oh, okay. So here's a question uh, that's. I'm going to generalize it a little bit because we all have, I think, at least a couple of characters across different games and shows and stuff. Um, But is there a character concept, uh, race, lineage, and class that you would love to give a shot at that you haven't gotten a chance to play yet? Anything anything Mm. been itching your creativity lately? I haven't played so many. Like, I have not played that many characters. I've stuck to what I feel like i know um so i would actually love to play like a fighter class or a ranger like that kind of class because i Mm -hmm. you know like in any game i'm like well how do i set things on fire with my mind okay that's the class for me (laughs) good to go so it'd be fun to like break out of that and play and play something and then let let that kind of character style lead the personality yeah how do i set things on fire with my sword right Right. okay yeah 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 (laughs) um i have a i have a barbarian character that i only got to play once at like an adventures league thing at a con a million years ago Mm -hmm. uh but he's a he's a dwarf ancestral whatever that barbarian subclass is um but his intelligence is like a 14 or a 15 Mm -hmm. and he just is a nerd who likes to read and he rages when you interrupt his reading which is pretty much oh wow oh Oh, that's why are you you coming for us like that wow i don't i wish i remembered his name i played him once at like gen con a thousand years ago uh but he was he's a lot of fun i want to bring him back yeah yeah i i i played a bard once at a one shot at dragon con uh a bard that like was not good at music (laughs) <laughs> oh yeah yeah so like he was kind of like accidentally musical but he didn't really like it so he's kind of like, <laughs> he didn't like it <laughs> yeah 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 he, wait how are you so accidentally weird. musical <laughs> yeah 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 it was no no he he, he, he was like you, you let those people that was a like prodigy yeah. That he oh, yeah yeah exactly he was, gifted mm-hmm. but unwilling yeah. yes <laughs> yeah so yeah i would i'd well, like, I like to, that uh, play that character again it's pretty play this stupid mandalay <laughs> uh, i i had a i had a sorcerer who she was a kenku who was the familiar of another sorcerer an, another wild magic sorcerer who the byproduct of this sorcerer's wild magic like destroyed her body and put her soul in the body of this kenku Oh, oh my wow. god. So that was where oh. her wild magic came from. Oh wow. Oh, that's cool. So cool. I, that's I nice. got to play that for like a one or two shot, but I would love to. She's basically like a Kenku wild magic sorcerer, but like that was the backstory of her. Yeah. Um and I'd love to play that again. Oh, that's amazing. That's very cool. Uh in uh briefly for a home game, I, I put together a character concept of a tiefling who was a follower of the god of accidental death. So like Final Destination. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> um, but her in her like religion, it was um, that you're hi- hiding from death. So you're trying to outsmart death because it's always out there. So they would greet people by saying happy hidings to you um, because you're hiding from death. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah. <laughs> Incredible. I love it. Uh, I always, yeah. Oh. 
Oh, sorry. Uh, I always wanted to play like uh, a turtle, like and just play it so slow. No, like, either play it like oh, so yeah. incredibly slow. Can you imagine? Slow. Can you imagine that? No, wow. Just like play it super slow, or just do like uh, a turtle theme like campaign where it's like a Ninja Turtles type thing, yeah, like uh, Ninja 100%. Turtles. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. I feel like that'd be really fun. Like we're all monks or something. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I usually play uh, either bards or clerics, so I'd love to play like an Azamar rogue. Mm. Just play it like it's Mass Effect, mm. right? Oh, like wow. I'm just like oh. a secret agent in Mass Effect or something, and just be in Midgard doing weird stuff. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. That I remember cool. um, what was it? It was the one of the uh, one shots that the tier ran um it, and i remember it was like a weird weird edition where like all of our spells were like wild in some capacity oh, that's right. and i like played a pre-generated character that you had made but like oh yeah made him basically like oh, a swedish chef yeah yeah and undermount yeah undermount the musical yeah, <gasps> and i basically oh. made this like swedish chef yeah you're the swedish chef. that was so great <laughs> you're hmm I remember that. Oh yeah, the ability God, to that make a food so fight, which was just basically amazing. like the balls of meatballs just flying. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, you so you fun. did like a create food and water spell that just brought spaghetti and yes. meatballs and uh, stuff down from the sky. It was nonsense, and I loved it. It was so it, much fun. Uh, it was Masood's yeah, was doing that that actually made me made me create for Tanya the one shot in uh, Infernal Goose Chase. It made me create a brunch based cleric. Oh, watching, Masood, watching Masood do the yeah. Swedish chef character. Oh. <laughs> Working on that subclass. I'm going to do it. And just Thank the promises when. The promises when. It's I have do my it. notes. Do. Yeah. I don't know where they are, but I have them. <laughs> um, I really want to play either an elf folk because of the game I played with Brian. We played Humblewood. Mm hmm. Oh, no, yeah. No, yeah. we played Mouse Guard. Cool. I'm sorry. We played, no, yeah, That'd we played cool. Mouse Guard, which was great. Humblewood is also great, but yes, oh, playing. Awesome. Yeah. But I want to play Humblewood. I want to be an owl, but I want to be an owl that is like brawny and angry because everyone expects owls to be book smart. <laughs> Super wise, <laughs> right? Oh. I love and subverting, I, subverting the tropes. Yeah, <laughs> I'm at, and I see you up there, Brandon. Mm hmm. What would you like to play? Yeah, like no. Uh, I, I always, uh, I guess, when halfway through, uh, I guess a few seasons, I was like, I wish that Brim was more of a fighter. Like he was uh, a sorcerer, oh. but like didn't really use magic that much. He used a lot of fire, but like he liked to stab things. And then I'm just like, <laughs> we should like kind of develop it a little bit more, but it just like never happened. You could have multi-classed. Yeah. I know, but yeah. I, it was just, I just, I, it became a funny part of the story because it's just yeah. like, yeah, Brent yeah. just wanted to stab everything. You know what I mean? Especially, so. <laughs> especially during the talent show in Sharif season where he tried to juggle 40 knives. Oh right? uh, yeah, that was, oh my God. That was <laughs> great. That was with those stab <laughs> dreams, night <laughs> dreams. <laughs> Yeah, I, I actually thought you were going there, Rin, because you had uh, sorry, Brandon, because because uh, uh, you you had introduced that uh, thing with Rin where he started lifting weights and got oh yeah and, yeah and like, he like, got jacked yeah so uh -huh. like so, so so like I thought you were trying to make him into like more of a yeah ball. yeah <laughs> that just nope. that just like randomly <laughs> came out of nowhere. I was like, you know what? Let's just like I, <laughs> let's just have a buff because I'm not. So let's just make that happen. <laughs> that one thing where you were in the kitchen because you were basically trying to do your protein, just yelling oh, like yeah. what. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's not forget I, I, in prison how he kept was like, I'm going to work out. I got my protein shake. And I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, you know in prison where they give you your protein, your protein, you your yeah. protein yeah. shake, and then they give you your you give you your like hour workout, and then you know they yeah. give you a cool down smoothie. Yeah. You no, know, it's fine. That's how it in prison, there was no creatine, but right. now people today they all get it. Like it's so <laughs> weird. <laughs> like, oh my god! It's multivitamins. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh all right. God. Um. Oh. So this is this is this is an easy one. Um, it is a question specifically for Dahani. Oh, oh. okay. Oh. All right. What's your favorite kind of planner, and what kind of stickers would you put on it, if any? <laughs> I can't. Decision. I want you to take the time to think about it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and while that's happening, if any if really? anyone else has has thought of, got to use, or just has in their mind, like here's a very particular thing that seems out of character for my character to have that they do. Like, what is that thing? 
Oh. Yeah. Because Dahani, we knew, like, organized, paints, planner, like, right. okay. Um, yeah. Felice revealed that she revealed, like, nobody thinks she does, but she just loves to read and chill. And do woodworking. Um, and, 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 and do yes, woodworking. And do woodworking. And do woodworking. So, yeah. <laughs> Oh man! Wow. Hmm. I think for I, suppo I suppose yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. No, um, no, no. I, I was trying to give you time to think, but yeah, <laughs> no, <laughs> this I, is the one I mean, that stumped us all. <laughs> yeah, I suppose Dahani would have a very simple planner that she could just like doodle in, like mm -hmm. like my actual planner that is sitting right here. <laughs> <laughs> we don't play ourselves. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's got daily pages that I can do whatever I want in, and that most a lot of that includes doodling, and so that's. It's exactly what Zahadi would have. Love that. I think for Gazrik, uh, one of the things that he carries that's unlike him, honestly, is the fact that as a druid, he is a merchant. I like I re that was like the one thing I really wanted to do with him. I was like, he's a guy about nature, but his whole deal is that he uses it to fund himself. Um, and like, what does that look like? As, as he like, is, is he going to be like a weird? I don't want to make him like a weird like. Uh, oil tycoon but I was like what does it look like for him to like understand that in a way that feels really human and I was like oh no he's like wildly like radically a socialist businessman and uh like yeah that was really fun um I think for Ashborn um there was like a time where she was a parent's hype person like their bardic manager um trying to get them like representation and shows and I think that it's because she doesn't have any musical talent um, and she wants musical talent. So she probably has like secret instruments. I don't know what that means and I'm not gonna I be more that. specific. <laughs> no, I enough. love it. Secret. Yep. Secret instruments, I yep. love that. I don't know how it happened, but Dirty D had a coat with the- with Oh the, yeah. Oh, yeah. I had like a jacket. Yeah, like oh, matching coach. jackets. How did that happen? I don't even remember, but it, it came it out of embroidered. your mind, man. It, it came out of your, your, your monologue. Yeah, and you Dirty shouted D at him. Made, had them made. Yeah. Guys, are you <laughs> sure? It sounds like it was a joke. <laughs> Uh, it was no, a joke. I, 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 I mean, it's like, I mean, I'm sure it was. Like, uh, right. I don't, it's, yeah. they're not mutually exclusive. Oh, okay. <laughs> my, uh, one of my favorite parts. <laughs> I thought that was really weird. And whenever, um, yeah, yeah. I just, like, where is he going to get that done? And why was it Dirty D? I don't, under, I don't because, remember any of this so, stuff. I mean, we could, oh, uh, yeah. His so, name's Robbie Jellyman. Yeah, like, yeah, Robbie Jellyman. <laughs> so, so, like, Ashaka kind of came up with it. Because he was trying to, when we were escaping from the theater, uh, we were there was like a mass of people leaving. I wanted to find somebody to kind of help us get through. Yeah, uh, no, I remember that, but I don't remember why we call. Anyways, that, that, you I, know, that, I just he had an up. embroidered leather jacket. I yes. thought it was very strange. <laughs> <laughs> it, I love it. It was strange, but it was great. Strange and great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yes. yeah. I, I think uh, one thing that maybe. Uh, people wouldn't know about Perrin was that he was great at interior design. Um, oh, so, yeah. So okay. yeah, like, uh, so he would, yeah, like pillows with like, like old Victorian interior design too. So it was like oh. pillows with tassels and stuff. Mm. Um, yeah. He, he knew how to make those things. It was. <laughs> Love that. Uh, I, I think for some reason, I don't know why it's coming to my head, but like, uh, Ren would have like a bag full of like rocks that were like his pet rocks because he tend to like <laughs> like <laughs> make pets and friends of just along the way. Inanimate like objects. Yeah, just, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So I think he would just have like a, a bag of like rocks. Are the, just like are, the, are, are these named rocks? Like did he name each individual? Uh, like, I think he would most likely be called like uh Gary Rock or something like oh, that. Oh no. Yeah. Gary Rock. You know, that, he would, a bag of Gary, Gary's. you know. A bag of Gary's? Yeah, a bag, bag of Gary's. Gary's. Oh, <laughs> I just I need the flashback where we see the first Gary, Gary yeah. one. That's yeah. the flashback that was I the need. Lime, right? That was a lime. How, that was I lime. think that I think it happened before then. I think oh, there was yeah. a Gary before I then. <laughs> I was it this? Yeah, maybe. No, no, no. I just mean like in your history. Oh, in your backstory. Yeah. Okay. So like, yeah. And it's probably like super sad too. Yeah. Uh, it's never mind. So, I don't, oh. Yeah, it's probably so sad. Oh. Anyways. The, oh the future Gary's are inanimate because yes. the next one wasn't. Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but I was. 
<laughs> maybe I should maybe I should name my new earring Gary. There you go. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Go. Maybe we should Drop throw that Gary? earring out and leave it in a well. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is a revelation. Dahani does it's fine. still keep. Uh, Dahani does still keep. I don't remember what you put in Dahani's pocket when you stole the paint pot from. Oh her. yeah. I think it was a handkerchief or something. It was, and it had a picture of like me. I embroidered it because I wanted yes. you to know that oh, I yeah, got I you. That. Yes. Zahani still carries that. <laughs> Absolutely still has that in it's probably it's like tucked really deeply like into her feathers so that like if she loses her possession, she will always still have that. Oh yeah. great, great intro. I love this. <laughs> Maybe else got thoughts about things we wouldn't know about your character. I can't think of anything for Shaka. That's okay. To be honest. That's, I um, can't really either. For I mean, I know a yeah. few things for Kent, but I don't want to reveal them right now. Yeah, it's like it's too soon. Yeah, it's too soon. Yeah. <laughs> Kentucky Jones, please don't. I don't think I can. Do that. Really? Like I don't think so. Gonna regret that forever. Uh, but okay, well, so we're. It's true, and I'm not mad about it. Uh, we have just celebrated a hundred episodes, and there are some amazing humans here who were here for the first episode um and i want to know what you all remember from from that uh, first appearance at the stream of many eyes and like what were you thinking what were you feeling like how do you uh, feel now all of these even if you know even if you haven't done all 100 episodes like i don't know where are we how are you feeling um Shreve, do you want to kick us off with this because i know you have you have memories of, of yeah. all those years ago i mean it was a, a scary time for me mm -hmm. like i was like my first time in los angeles mm -hmm. It was my first time at an event for D&D. Uh, it was my first time. I mean, I, we had met like before mm -hmm. we went, but I didn't like really, really know people outside of Cicero and uh, Tanya, you know? So I was like, what is going on here? Like all these people have been playing D&D forever and like mm -hmm. they're going to be shouting at us if we get a role wrong or it's going to, you <laughs> know, like, I was like, yeah, I was like kind of worried, but you know, I, I like trusted like uh, Tanya and like Greg seemed pr pretty cool as well. So like I was, mm -hmm. I was like, I'm gonna go through with this and I'm gonna see how it goes. Um, you know, I just remember being super worried and like super nervous, but I remember there was one point where we had this really small, like, I guess you call it a green room, I guess. Oh yeah, yeah. And like, I remember us all like getting in there and kind of just like hyping each other up. And I remember mm -hmm. like that, like just feeling super comfortable. And when we got out there at that thing, it was just felt completely natural. Like I didn't even notice the crowd when we were playing, you know? Um, and uh, I also remember getting super excited because there was like a physical item. There was like an actual yeah. thing. Uh, yeah. The stones? Decipher. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Oh, watching yeah. that was amazing, yeah. Yeah, so like that got me super excited. Um, and uh, yeah, it was. it was just like, I, I was super nervous even, even on the plane ride over i was super nervous mm. um but i just calmed down and it would just i just feel like it just went so well like uh it, it just felt supernatural and awesome so yeah i don't i don't know if like anybody else had a similar experience but you know it was cool ended up being cool uh i, I remember I, I, oh, oh go on go, you, go, oh, you, go. you go you go okay you go, I, you go, you go. Uh, I remember i was definitely <laughs> super nervous because one thing like why i was worried like in the beginning was i was like i good with numbers and math and all this kind of stuff and i'm gonna be doing this in front of all these people so i don't know <laughs> what i'm gonna do um but i remember when we finished um i just had this sense of like we were doing something like much bigger than just like we're just playing D D. um because i we i started to see like tweets where people were talking about oh my god like we're seeing a poc group like playing D D. and then like when we were doing like those interviews i was like oh this is like we're really doing this this is like something that we're gonna like make happen um but i i remember having such a good time and then being like um just really excited to see like the other shows too and then like the whole world that yeah. dd created like at that event was like dope yeah 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 i, I remember you. um sorry no no uh, it's your turn <laughs> um i remember we were uh it was like a day or two before the event before we flew out uh so originally um I was supposed to dm or share the dm time i was supposed to play the npcs mm -hmm. um that was kind of like the plan and uh we we got an email that um they were gonna have cosplayers and stuff uh connect 
connect the scene. So I was like, oh no, what am I going to do? Like, they're going to be the main NPC for this thing. Um, so when I got to LA, I, I rolled up my character real quick. I'm like, I'm going to play at the table. Like, uh, I had no plans other than just like, I need to roll up a character and we need to do this. And, um, I just remember being more, I feel like I was going to be fine. I, I didn't have a problem with that. Um, but I was, I was a little nervous. Like we hadn't played before. Right? Uh, oh. We hadn't played yeah. anything. Like mm -hmm. we just rolled up characters. We had talked about it. We had talked about other stuff before, but we had we hadn't sat down and played. And um, I don't know why. Maybe because like I've had like a bunch of stage time and like stuff like that. But uh, when I got there, I was just like so excited. Like, and I'm I'm usually not like do do do. Let's do this. Let's do this. But I was so happy for you guys. Like, mm -hmm. I was so happy that like, oh yeah, this is gonna be great. Because then I also knew I I peeked into the room beforehand, and I was like, ooh 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 ooh. And I feel like that gave me permission to be really silly, mm -hmm. which I feel like I don't really give myself that permission uh right away until like i know everyone you know until i know how this person's gonna react i'm usually pretty quiet uh and for being a, a new group i was like super silly right off the bat like which that's that's what i remember the most yeah uh very similarly i remember um when we were flying out and just i guess doing improv and and other things previously my my whole mindset was like i want to make everybody look amazing like um and if people are are nervous then like let's talk about it let's um let's do breathing exercises backstage let's do a quick like little improv scene like let's mm. um support each other um and so in like taking care of other people i feel like i it alleviated my own anxiety as well yeah that's right um and yeah and i was just like like you said carlos i was just like really excited like yeah. I was excited to play with this this group and um and you know is scared because we're playing at this giant event and you know all the pressure I guess that mm -hmm. that 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 is right cuz realistically nobody's first game is in front of <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah like Chris <laughs> Perkins is right in the front row like yeah. <laughs> looking right at us right and I'm like oh okay row. This is normal. Like, you know. uh, yeah. Um, and then there was an actual like puzzle. And it's like, it, it, I remember uh, during the mm. show, seeing the timer, um, oh, the timer yeah. counting down and being mm. like, okay, we have to solve this puzzle under this time. <laughs> right. And so it's oh, counting no. down. And it's like, five, four, three, and then like, we solve it like right then. Yeah. And it yeah. just felt like, yeah. it just felt really good. And also, extremely scary <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah um uh, man um that was my first time rolling dice um and and you know what was was weird is so we all got together to roll characters mm -hmm. and everyone was in the same room rolling the characters except for me that when right beforehand when when we went to roll characters beforehand so i i met Carlos and Serena in LA. Yeah. That was the first time oh, wow. I had met them. Oh, wow. And so like, oh, yeah, so it was like, I mean, everything was so new and, and yes, new Brandon and mm -hmm. obviously new reef and new Tanya. And like, that was cool, but like not knowing these guys, but they were so welcoming and you know, there was like, there was such a level of trust, right? Like, and that's really what it was all about. It was trust in the people that I knew beforehand. Mm -hmm. um, and then the, how welcoming Carlos and Serena were and, and shepherding us through this game that outside of Tanya, we had never played before. Mm -hmm. And, and so like that part was like, I just felt at ease. And then the other part, just like Carlos and Serena, just like because of stage time, I was just excited when the moment came. It's like, oh man, I get I get to act the fool. Let's go. Right? <laughs> so, <laughs> sure. so yep. Um and and uh and yeah, and it was just like the things wrapped up well and and like I felt like we were doing something great and uh 99 episodes later <laughs> still, doing, still doing great things. Mm -hmm. Tanya, you got any thoughts? 
I don't know, because I feel like everyone kind of covered the <laughs> gambit of, of how I felt. Sure. And I was yeah. also in kind of this weird space because I was collaborating with Greg and trying to get out, get everyone kind of, you know, in producer mode, even though I wasn't officially the producer of getting kind of all of our info together. And for me, it was like, cool, I get to go to L.A. And then it was like, I get to play D&D again. But, oh, boy, we get to play in front of thousands of people. Because I think we found out, like, right before we went on that we are going to be Twitch front page. And so in uh-huh. the back of my brain, oh, wow. mm-hmm. I, yeah. I had to put that away. Because if I focused on that, yeah. my brain would have been like, there's just going to be thousands of people focused on how we're not playing right. Uh, um, yeah. yeah. So oh, yeah. that's where my brain was a little bit. But it was also mm-hmm. like... We have a puzzle to solve. I hate puzzles. Why? Why? What did I do in a past life to get a puzzle in our first episode? Yeah. You yeah. Probably yeah. Like new, new guys just telling knock knock jokes. Help us solve yeah. this puzzle. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and like we like uh, talked about how each other felt welcomed. I also felt welcomed by like people that. I didn't know how big some of these people uh, were yeah, my yeah. first time. Yeah. So like, oh my God. So, That's true too. So, so, so like, I remember meeting like Christina and mm-hmm. Satine oh, yeah. and, you know, um, and B Dave and all these people. And I was just like, Hey, what's up? What's going on? And mm-hmm. they didn't know me from anybody. And they were just like, what's up? Like, and they were, they weren't like standoffish or like, who are you? Or like, uh, you, you know what what's uh page 15 of the uh of the player's yeah. handbook or whatever you know <laughs> yeah um so like it, it was like not only were we welcoming to, to like each other i felt like welcomed by the community and like being somebody that's you know still has roots in the video game community where i've gone to events where i've been one of the few people of a color there there was a feeling like who are you mm-hmm. like i kind of didn't have that feeling um at this event like so like that that helped me a lot as well because i was definitely worried that like it it, it it would be like oh they're just here for you know to, to, to show some diversity and they don't really know what they're doing or whatever yeah yeah and like i didn't feel that at all so i like that cicero said act a fool because i was promised by tanya that that's exactly what i could do on <laughs> Rolling, so <laughs> that made my nerves about being asked to join the cast way down i was like oh gotcha got this um, but I kind of want to turn it to Tanya to ask, God. how did this all really get going? How, I mean, what, what caused this to start? What caused Rivals of Waterdeep to be what it, what it Whose started as? Whose fault is and, this? Whose fault is okay, this? No, that is exactly wow. it. Who's wow. to blame? Uh, okay, then. If we're going for blame, <laughs> literally there's a blame Tito emote if you're subscribed to D&D's Twitch channel <laughs> that you can use. Hashtag um, blame Tito. So if you are a subscriber to D&D, let's see some blame Tito's in the chat <laughs> hey. um, as an emote. <laughs> Otherwise, just blame Tito. But, uh, you know, there for, it is. yes, uh, first and foremost, Greg Tito, who is in the chat. Uh, I got to know Greg through the work I was doing through I Need Diverse Games. He brought me on Dragon Talk and we became good friends. I, I adore this man and would, would fight a hundred kobolds for him. And uh, he reached out, he's like, hey, do you know people who'd want to be on a show if we if we did a new show? They want, the whole idea, despite what people think now, was right. to showcase <laughs> anyone can learn to play D&D because 5th edition had come yeah. out, it was far more newbie friendly. It wasn't like I needed graph paper and a calculator right. and like the special scientific calculator at that to roll up a character, you know, and as someone who's played for a long time, I was like, oh, it's easier to play. Please sign me up. And Mm then um, I was like, cool. And he he was like, well, what do you also think about making the show an all PFC cast? Because, you know, in fifth edition, the iconic human is a dark skinned black woman who's a paladin. And we finally are are slowly creeping toward better diversity in D and D slowly, I said. Um, And so I was like, cool reached out to uh, Brandon, Sharif, and Cicero and said, hey, here's an idea. Are you interested? No pressure if you're not. Mm -hmm. And it was fun because, you know, like I got to play with people I liked. And also I got to like kind of shake Sharif, especially and go, you don't have to know every rule in the book. It's okay. Um, I was worried about that. (laughs) Yeah. and And we also just got to show that literally anyone can sit down with the book with the player's handbook or the dm screen and learn how to play it's you know it's it's not rocket science it's supposed to be fun 
And even though it wasn't the intent, we did show people of color like us that there is a place for them. Mm-hmm. And while that wasn't the intent, the impact was made. And that's something I'll always be grateful for. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, shout out to Greg for reaching out because he didn't have to reach out to me. I wasn't known for playing D&D. He could have hit up Christina or B-Dave or all these people that are already known. And he gave a bunch of new people a chance to show what we can do and brought us out to L.A. And we literally made magic on that stage that day. Mm-hmm. Love, hey. you, Greg. <laughs> Love you, Greg. Love you, Greg. Love you, Greg. Love Greg. Greg Tito's the Barry Gordy I, of rivals. Oh. No, 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 not Barry Gordy, no. Oh, Barry, wow. We oh, like man. Greg, and he's not trying to steal yeah, our yeah, money. Yeah. I'll, think of, I'll think of a better one. No, Greg, um, when I talked to Greg, uh, you know, same exact thing. Like, he said the same exact thing. Like, I didn't know anyone, like, on the show. Uh, and I recommended Serena as well when we were working out something. I was like, oh, you got to work with her. She's great, blah, blah, blah. Um, and, but like Greg is always, you know, shout out to Greg has like given me opportunities too. Mm-hmm. like started with like this, like a little bit on like a podcast thing, a little shout out on my podcast and like, you know, doing a podcast to rivals. And then like later after I gotten hired, I had just gotten hired at uh roll 20 and like hadn't done anything, like haven't done any of my video stuff. I was brand new. Uh, like he made it a point to hire me for a project that was happening in Wisconsin. Um, and so much so that I was like, yeah, I can't do it. I, and I, I didn't feel confident, didn't feel confident in my gear. I just, I was only like a month in and I was like, I don't, I can't do it. And I gave him the number of someone, uh, a crew that could do it. Um, Greg contacted that crew and said, Hey, can you do it? And they were like, yeah, absolutely. And they're like, great. Carlos is going to be your director. Oh. Uh, and then he calls That's me awesome. back and he's just like, they agreed they're, you're going to be a director. I'm like, that wasn't a part of the, <laughs> <laughs> no, Greg. Like, I, like, I, like, I flat out said, no, that, that, that's not what it was. Uh, but like, it was like, honestly, like Greg, there's three times in my life that that happened that year where Greg Tito, uh, hit me up and believed in me and gave me an opportunity. And I honestly believe that like that really helped level me up to where I am today. Yeah. Mm. I love. I got. I'm Thank getting you, a little uh, bucklump. So yeah, someone else take oh, it. Oh, it's. I think we're all going to be yourself. crying before we're done. Yourself. Stay clumped. <laughs> we love it. Yeah. yeah. Um. Well, I'll make it worse. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Uh, <laughs> Obviously, huge thank you to Greg, but thank you to all of you too. And thank you for those of you who were there uh, at Stream Many Eyes for sharing your memories. Um, Brian and I are taking over as co-DMs next season and we stand on the shoulders of giants. Everything that you all did for the community, for the game, for the visibility of the game, uh, it's it's amazing. And to hear you talk about it and, and that Cicero didn't know half of you all, had never met half of you before you started playing and that, you know, Carlos was rolling up a character in LA and and I, I just have to thank you all for pushing through your nerves, for sharing your excitement, for for giving your care to each other, uh, because from day one, you know, we all knew this was something special. I mean, I did, and I think you all did too, based on everything that you've just said. And we're here a hundred episodes and three years later, and that is in vastly large majority part because of the six of you that were there. And I, I can't thank you enough uh, that that you did that for all of us. So thanks. Thank you. Um, I want to make it worse. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, no. You know, no, no, no. This, I mean, not in a bad way, but, you know, pe- <laughs> there, there is no judgment if people start crying or if you've already been crying, kind of trying to be like, nobody sees me. It's not a reunion <laughs> special if people don't <laughs> cry. Let's That's be real, it. okay? Um, um, but you know, I, I'm I'm glad everyone I've asked that is at this table has said yes, because you know when when I was on that first time with, of Dragon Talk with Greg, and I talked about the pain of why I stopped playing RPGs, specifically D and D, and how I dealt with people who thought it was cute to say, oh well, you're black, so you've got to be a drow, or mm-hmm. you're a woman, so you've got to be a healer or a cleric, and they thought that was appropriate, um, and you know. As time has gone on, the show has only gotten better. And especially, you know, getting past Brian, who I've known for like 20 years. 
to join us on this show. <laughs> what? Don't. Mm. <laughs> don't you know? Okay. <laughs> I'm like the easiest uh, crier in the universe. I don't, I don't know. There. Have you watched? <laughs> have to, I'm sorry. Have, have you seen Eugenio's streams? Oh, shit. Yeah, that's true. I don't know why I'm like making faces like, ha ha. I cry at the drop of a damn hat. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but, but seriously, you know, you know, and not, not, this is not discounting anyone else on this call, but, you know, having someone that I've known for so long, come back to the hobby, come back to, you know, come back to this and enjoy it. And, you know, and he and I have had those same unfortunate experiences of people not wanting you at the table or, or assuming things about you or, or the usual black people play D and D they play RPGs mm -hmm. or, you know, all of us have heard this and it's our channels. We can cuss that's some white folks bullshit that we've all heard. <laughs> uh, so, you know, getting not only to, to bring him into the show and get to hang out every week. Cause right now it's one time we get to spend together. Um, it means a lot. And you know, to, to have something to look forward to every Sunday and I'm trying not to cry because mm. damn you. Eugenio. Yeah. It's, You're it's, so welcome. To uh, it's, it's a lot. And I, you know, I talk about it a lot because I put the hobby away and I'm like, I am, I am. I met Gary Gygax at dragon con when dragon con was only in one venue old. Yeah. Like that is it. And to just still go to tables and not feel like it was okay. Or to go to shops and ask like, Oh, do you, like, are you in the right place? Do you need help? And just that to think that I put this hobby completely out of my life, except, you know, video games. Cause I, you know, I like those. It was, it was just really like, I was, I was terrified to be asked, but I've had nothing but fun. I have enjoyed myself every single moment that we have played and uh, Tanya knows, like, I wasn't watching. Y'all know I got a brunch. So y'all are on Sundays <laughs> when I'm at brunch. So y'all were in like one ear and like on my phone as I'm like, yeah, no, I'm good. Just keep refilling. It's fine. So <laughs> I've, I've, I've watched so many, so many episodes. And just, you know, when Tanya asked me, I said, are you sure you don't know anyone else you want to ask? Because even I was like, eh, but I've, I've had nothing but amazing fun times and it's it's just been a pure joy <laughs> so good i i uh to add to that like it, it was so great to 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 uh recommend and share like other people as well like masood masood i met randomly Dude. uh at uh, a web series that we did oh, like we yeah. both had like a bit part in like a web series <laughs> yeah and oh, we're both even supposed like to be there dude i was filling <laughs> in for a guy who got who really? was called to do a show uh, he was a uh, avery got called to do uh the shy and had to go oh, down okay. yeah. like, i can't do this web series masood you free i'm like yeah that sounds cool and so i showed up yeah <laughs> he, sh he shows up this web series serena and i are like dressed in D, &D makeup just yeah. for our little skit that the show has nothing to do with D, &D but yeah. serena and i are just dressed up uh You're eye makeup intense. and everything <laughs> you all really steal it it's the best part of the episode yeah <laughs> and we just started talking about D, &D and he had mentioned that he plays and blah blah, blah and i kept that in mind and when i uh i was putting together another show i put him on it and like you know we're still on that show together and then you know when i left rivals i was like hey guys you should check out this guy that i'm doing a show with he's also in chicago he's great um and i was just like it's awesome that like we now have that have this in common yeah. you know what i mean like that's great i just i love that yeah. it's not i would like also like hearing I don't think I realized it until now, like sort of sitting at the end of GMing a season that like has had so many other hands on it, but like, mm -hmm. like with duo and like, because it's a rotating GM, it feels fun to like share that. It's like, yeah, we like yeah. build on this character, like learning a little bit from like the past and like, it's a re I really think Rivals is special for a lot of reasons. It's particularly like one, because of the cast, the way it is, but two, I think because it is a collective in a lot of like right. the ways that it is created. Yeah. Um, and it's, just, it's just more fun that way when you're creating something together. Um, on the lines that Carlos is talking about, about recommending people, um, <laughs> I am going to get very, like, Latia, like you're smiling because you know that I'm talking about you. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I just remember um, first meeting you online um, and seeing like your your spirit and your joy through Twitter and then getting to meet you in person and seeing that uh, amplified through just everything that you embody. And so when um, Carlos and I, you know, had to move to LA for my job, 
um, it was, there was no question in my mind, in my mind, who I wanted to bring in and who I knew would uh, <laughs> pass down the torch and carry <laughs> on. So, uh, no, Yo, had you in the corner. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was, that was such a... Because, you know, obviously we knew going yeah. into that episode that Carlos and Serena were leaving. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. You know, I was I was DMing at the time and it was really hard for me to stay focused yeah. because and it wasn't just like, oh, I got to wrap up the story. Well, it was more like I've made friends with these people. Like, it's not just we've been playing this game for that was like season five, I think. Yeah, yeah. Season five. And I was like, man, like, I'm like, like. Like, I didn't know what was going to happen. I was like, man, it's the first time we're losing cast members. Like, first time we're, like, transitioning, you know? And the fact that, man, I watched that episode again and started crying at the end. Because just, just like, the way we, like, I don't know. It was just, I was so happy. I was so happy for both of y'all because it wasn't like we were losing y'all. It was was like, yo, let's celebrate that y'all are, like, moving and taking advantage of this awesome opportunity, you know? And then being able to welcome in Latia during a live show with that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, and, Which and it's so, sorry, go ahead. No, I was just say it's just so weird how that whole thing comes like comes to fruition because it's Tito's fault that I'm even here right now. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag blame Tito. Hashtag blame Tito. I made a throwaway comment back when I was doing massage therapy about how, hey, if Wizards needs an in-house therapist, hit me up. And Tito messaged me because I was doing something else with a friend at the time. Um, I was doing something with my friend who runs Initiative Coffee Company. And he was like, yo, Initiative Coffee Company sounds really cool. Do y'all want to come on Dragon Talk? And I was like, I'll ask because it wasn't my thing. (laughs) And so like from there, I just more and more into the community until I'm never going to like, I wish I had screen capped that text message from you serena because you like you you pretended to get down on one knee and you put a ring emoji in it and you're like will you and it was at that time it was only it was only a guest a guest spot because i don't think Mm. you knew like definitively that you were going to la so like it was Mm -hmm. just like do you want to come and guest on rivals at c2 and i was like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then having that turn into would you like to stay? <laughs> See, this is sweet. Carlos just sent me an email. So I mean it was really important because that really to me was really important because it proved that like this group and this concept is bigger than like us. Mm-hmm. Right. We can bring in new people. People can leave and we still have like the same like energy and importance and and we're, we're just like growing the family like you know what I'm saying yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, that, you know? that's what I really like about it like I really like sometimes you hear about people that have shows or have things going on or whatever and it's like someone leaves and it's like that's it it's done yeah like, it's yeah. I or or they even want it to be done right they're just like mm-hmm. you guys can't keep doing the show without me and it's just like no no that sounds horrible. Mm-hmm. Like for yeah. me, it's it's great that like, like kind of my journey here and what I'm doing today, like start it with you guys. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's mm-hmm. awesome that like, we're just, this is just freaking world building, man. Like we're just like world building, like <laughs> all of us and it doesn't go away and it keeps generating. And I just like, yeah. I love that about this show. The the thing that uh, I want I wanted to kind of touch on what Masood was saying, which is the the collaborative effort. Um, you know, it's where we've rivals has been about building community, and you know, not only are we building community outside of rivals, but with within our our own family, we're building communities in the stories that we're telling through different voices. And you know, I I DM season five. Um, and in much the same way that I, the way that I DM season five, which was kind of like a collective of all the stories that happened between the very beginning to that point, Masood, your your story in season 10 did much the same thing, where you took all of the things that had happened before and added them to your own gumbo and and really showed what the diversity and the beauty that is 
the Rivals storytelling community. Um, and I, man, I am so proud to be amongst you guys. And I'm so proud to have spent this time. And man, I, you know, I love you guys so very much. Um, Brian, I haven't had the chance to hang out with you, but, but you're family to me, right? We're, we're Rivals family. So, uh, you know, I, I love you too. And Eugenio, you and I have only played just just a smidgen <laughs> just, a smidgen. <laughs> just a smidgen but but you, you know what it is yeah so, yeah and you know i just man i love you guys i love you guys so much i'm so happy to be here and i'm so very proud of the legacy that you guys are are, are continuing to build on the topic of legacy i just i don't want you to feel like you're ever gonna get like scot free eugenio <laughs> like you are an incredible <laughs> Right in the community. I know. Here it is. <laughs> Compliment Avalanche. Take it. Take <laughs> it. So close. Okay. I know. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no, sir. Um, no, um, you were the one of the first people that I met in the community that I was like, this person's my friend. Right. Like yes. this person is my friend and this person is my person. And Ooh. um, you know, even in the last time we went to um D D uh live, uh the the in-person one. Um, I was I was terrified because I had been asked uh, the day of to do main stage. Uh, oh, yeah, that's side right. note, that's what yeah, happened. I, that's right. Uh, yeah, the day yeah. of, I was uh, the person who was yeah. um, in the show um, wasn't feeling well, so I, I had stepped in and I was terrified. <laughs> um, but you, Eugenio, you were there with me. You sat with me the entire day. You made me feel safe and supported, and like I know that that is like the person you are, and that is what you bring to the community as a whole so like people I, I believe myself and everyone here and in the rivals family and beyond are just so lucky uh and honored to have you in our lives as a friend and as a strong advocate for everything that we do thank you yep and i'm going to add on to that so i'm gonna <laughs> oh, I, no, I'm, no i'm trying to make you henio cry this is my goal You're since y'all made me cry. Uh, uh, <laughs> no as, as someone who gets to sit at a table every wednesday with <laughs> Eugenio and has had a chance to just become his friend and got to spend a lot of time with him when I was in New York. I, I do not say this lightly. Eugenio is someone that one, I wish I could DM as well as you. Oh. And, and two, I am glad that you are my friend and I call you my brother. It is mutual. And, and uh, I don't, I don't think I can really, uh, well verbalized right now everything that i'm feeling but but i want you all to know you know i've spent various amounts of times with each of the nine of you and there are there are a lot of people in this community and in this industry that i have um learned from or befriended or been inspired by but the nine of you are the reasons that i'm here and the reasons that I know how to um, advocate for the things that are important to us, um, and the reason that I want to <laughs> support you, Serena, when you get five hours notice before you're going to be on the main stage at D and D Live, or because I want to <laughs> spend, you know, two to three nights a week playing tabletop games on stream with you, Tanya, or you know, whatever it is, um, you all are the biggest inspiration and as as one of the two newest cast members like i feel a lot of what has been said in chat very closely um because you know 20 episodes is a lot but comparatively speaking you know i've been watching you all for two and a half years and only joined in the last six months or so and i don't i'm so happy to see this show continuing and getting mm -hmm. more and more recognition and attention because the thing that you all created and that we all carry on every week whether you're with us playing or or not whether we're referencing your character or your npc or your dm arc whatever it is the thing that we 10 have created is such a big effing deal and i think it's sometimes hard to really like we can know that intellectually and sort of feel some kind of way about it because all 10 of us are like a little bit not good at taking the compliments <laughs> but i but i how think dare it's you worth... read me so hard i well hey same here <sighs> but i think it's worth saying like now is the time a hundred episodes in with the future you know ahead we know there will be more to just like 
allow ourselves to take in and recognize that what we have done is a big effing deal to a lot of people. So thank you. Thank you to everyone who has stuck with us since season one or since, you know, one Eastern, which was a while ago now. <laughs> Kat, we appreciate you all being here. Um, we wouldn't be here without y'all's support too. So, right. so thank right. each and every one of you, whether you're watching live, watching on the VOD, listening to the podcast. Um, but most of all, I, I celebrate the 10 of us so much. We, you know, it's hard, but I'm going to toot our own horn because we should. We've done something amazing mm -hmm. and I can't wait to keep doing it. And I can't wait to keep hearing the stories from our audience about how we have uh, encouraged them or inspired them or just shown them that they can. Um, so, so thank you, everyone within earshot of my voice. Thanks, because I think we've done something amazing and I love that we get to keep doing it. You're welcome. And thanks mm. to you, dude. I think like we don't I, I we talk a lot about the show and the good that it's done and we I think like Serena you mentioned Eugenio like sort of supporting you on something that wasn't Rivals related but like mm -hmm. dude I, like we it really does feel like Rivals is family in a lot of ways like I remember yeah. I was dealing with um like just earlier this year I got this offer for the from this theater and I was like wasn't sure how to engage with them because I was engaging as like a freelancer per, like professionally with a big name and I was like intimidated and like everyone just gave me really good advice like good professional advice uh nothing related to rivals nothing related to the tabletop scene but like it was just like it felt like going to an older cousin or like just going to somebody who had good insight for you that you could use um and like I know that I like I I, I can talk about Carlos for hours on end about all the things that I've allowed to like grow and develop through really this like chance meeting um on a web series we have also the longest episode which is like kind of yeah it's a, a format wise i've got thoughts about it but like i don't know it i'm very just very grateful for the ways in which on screen in person and outside of the rivals how these relationships have impacted me personally um and hopefully the ways in which i've been able to at least like at the gm think about like how can these people have the most fun like how can i make the most fun happen for them yeah, I love how, it, oh, sorry, go on. No, I was just saying that's so easy because everybody's like supportive, right? Yeah, like everybody yeah. wants everybody to succeed. Like mm -hmm. it's not like, you know, for like everybody that's GM, it's not like you're playing against everybody or mm -hmm. like they're trying to beat you or you're trying to beat them. It's like we're trying to tell something that we all can create and say, this is something special that our ten, us 10 have together and we can like hold that and like, cherish it like i can't say that about a lot of things like you know outside of my like family and personal like you know and and, and my partner obviously i can't say that about a lot of things with you know people that i've been friends with in other um organizations or other things i've done like tutoring self gaming stuff like it's like a really rare thing like and i think it's one thing that's special about like tabletop in general but like especially with y'all like i'm like you know this creation that only we made it's man it's just awesome to, to go on that it uh i love that um one there are no positions on rivals right yeah. like there are like yeah. we, we all take it as seriously like a lot of times mm -hmm. you'll you'll go on a show and so it's like oh well this person's organizing so obviously it means more to them than everyone else mm -hmm. or this person only shows up on this day and doesn't care about the rest of the cast or anything like that um so everyone takes it so serious like this is the thing you know like this is uh when i'm here i'm here i'm here for everyone i have a good time um but like everyone feels that way here and also treats it precious um where like i know i know that like everyone here if you had to leave you would be thinking about who you can recommend so hard like I know, like this is something that's never gonna like gr grow out. Where it's like, oh yeah, just ask so and so to do it. Oh yeah, just ask this person to do it. Oh yeah, like no, like you know that like whoever you recommend has to be up to the task and the mm -hmm. standard of just like not even D and D, just like being a good human being, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Like just being a good human being for everyone, uh, and, and be able to like think about this show as 
as not a thing to do, but like, I don't know. It's so weird. It's such a weird uh, thing that, that, that is like, there, there's not a word for like, um, like family and art. But like, if yeah. there was, it would be mm. rivals. Like, that's yeah. how I think of it. Mm. Like, yeah. And for the record, you did just say we were better than other people, right? Like, I wanted to clock that <laughs> in that statement. I wanted to make sure that that was there. <laughs> I did an oh, entire did. freaking great monologue there. <laughs> and like, we are I, needed, I, I no, needed to I'm hear what I needed to hear out of it. That's all right. I'm saying. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I love it. Well, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a rivals event if we didn't end on a silly <laughs> on a silly note. But before we before we wrap, I do want to make sure. No pressure. Nobody has to say anything. But is there anything else anyone wants? to wants to get out there before we start our, oh our wind god. down oh wow oh my god i'm sorry <laughs> wow. holy what? Crap. what did i miss oh, holy crap, oh, crap. Oh, holy crap. <laughs> wow. Wow. anonymous okay i'm okay. so glad we don't have alerts on right now oh my gosh yeah <laughs> we would not yeah we'd god. be like all right well, we can't wow. sign off for another hour <laughs> um, thank you that is thank great thank you no, to whoever I, did that nice. oh my god <laughs> I wow. have a feeling Holy I know who it crap. is, but I don't want to text and ask. How <laughs> Better to not know. Yeah. Oh my oh god. Anonymous so will get an anonymous nice. text. Wow. Right. Yeah. Thanks, Larry. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it was me. I am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, no, you just moved and you got Wait, a baby you got, on you the got way. A kid coming, dude. Yeah, dude. What are you doing? <laughs> you best what are you not subbing for? No, I, <laughs> No, that that's... formula and diaper money into yeah, right. <laughs> that is like an absolute perfect way for us to kind of round this oh, yeah. out we yeah. we i just i don't know i mean i i knew about rivals forever and then i got invited to play with y'all in a star trek game which was freaking amazing yeah. Oh, yeah. and now i'm here and this has been fantastic so like, you know, Brandon, Tanya, Masood, Serena, Sharif, Latia, Eugenio, Carlos, Cicero. I had to make sure I actually got all the names right. Because <laughs> we don't have them. Yeah. Um, that's right. Um, thank you all so much. The fact that we can all come together once a week and tell this amazing collaborative story and, you know, break expectations you know, defy stereotypes and subvert these tropes and have fun, still have fun every week is just so amazing to me. And I, someone at, like we were recently interviewed and someone said, so what about episode 200? And I was like, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, like, ye, and yet. <laughs> so, slow um, down there. Yeah. Right. Um, but no, I've, I, I've had a blast and I feel like this conversation that we've had today has been wonderful. I just... I, I say thanks, and then I will I will hand it over to Henio because I'm gonna start crying again. So <laughs> good, do it. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I said it before, but one more time. Thank you so much to all of you out there for sticking with us, for watching all of these seasons. Thank you to the nine of you for giving your time and your energy, whether it was three years ago at Stream of Many Eyes, and also just today. Um, this has been amazing. Thank you, Rivals 100 episodes. Here's to many, many more. Um, as I mentioned at the end of the episode, we're gonna take a slightly longer than usual hiatus after today. Uh, so keep an eye on the socials and as soon as we can, we'll announce the season 11 premiere date. Uh, but before, until then, uh, let's go really quick uh, I know we're we're pushing on five Eastern, so why don't we just really quick go through everybody? Uh, shout out whatever social media handles or whatever you want to do in truncated form. Uh, we'll go same order that we did before, and then we'll call it a day and see y'all when we see ya. Uh, so can we? Sorry, put you on the spot again, but can we start with you, Brandon? Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, so yeah, everybody, if you want to uh, follow me on Twitter, I'm at I am Brandon TV, uh, and I'm on Twitch at I am Brandon. Um, yeah, just pretty much everything like on socials, like I am Brandon. And if Great. it's not me, then just put the TV and you'll find me. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. I love it. Tanya, where can we find you? Uh, hi, you can find me on my channel, Cypher Tier. You can also find me over at twitch.tv slash DD or YouTube slash DD Wizards for Black Dice Society if you like some horror in your DD. Uh, and as Eugenio said earlier, August 4th. Into the Motherlands returns for season three, and Eugenio has to pay for his crime at the end of season two. Um, <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'll be doing various things on my channel. I am part of the Battle for New World event, so I'll be doing a lot of uh, New World. I might have a couple codes to sprinkle in chat here and there. And, uh, yeah, I am just doing all the RPG stuff. I'm an RPG streamer now, y'all. Sorry, not sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Happens. 
I love it. Uh, Masood. Hey, I'm Masood. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Marood Boy, M A H R U D E B O I. Um, I mentioned this earlier, but uh, Monster of the Week has their season finale on Wednesday, so you can come catch up on the VODs online on uh, over at Roll20 or just watch the season finale and try to figure it out as we go. Um, and then on Tuesdays, uh, I do a wonderful uh, fifth edition homebrew with uh, my buddies at Indoor Recess, including Carlos, where we play uh, Generation Fantasy. Um, I play a character named Kent Vanderbilt, who is the worst person you've ever met. Trust me. Trust me. He is. Um, and come <laughs> watch and you'll figure it out. I love it. Serena, where can we find you? Oh, yes. Hello, um, Serena. You can find me on Twitter at Serena X Marie. Or if you like adorable and slightly strange and haunting illustrations, you can find me on Instagram at Serena is a B. Yeah, I love it. it. I also love them. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, I almost called you Shaka Sharif. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Sh 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 Shreefjackson.com, S H A R E E F jackson.com shreve jackson on all social networks check out trouble in Techburg, the kids on bike show that i do on pixel circus uh the gm prep sessions that i do on roll 20 on friday mornings um and the video game stream on tuesdays will still be going on here um even between the seasons so make sure to check that out on tuesdays uh great and latia me, hi. Uh, I'm Latia. You can find me everywhere at Latia Jackies, except for the places where I am not. Um, primarily, uh, Twitter is the best way to find out anything that I'm doing because Twitter is basically my brain. <clears throat> Yep, that sounds right. Uh, I'm Eugenio. You can find me on the places at DM Jazzy Hands. Uh, I'm going away for a week, so you won't find me anywhere. But uh, I'll be back, and Motherlands will be the first thing I do, so check that out. Uh, Brian! Hi, yes, I am Brian. You can find me at Urban Bohemian pretty much everywhere. I'm Generation X, so it's also a .com. And um, <laughs> that's pretty much it. Variety streamer on Twitch. Uh, lots of weird food pictures and opinions about stuff on Twitter. And um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Carlos. <laughs> Hey, what's up? My name is Carlos Luna. You can find me on all social media under Carlos Critz. I just got a little teary eyed thinking about episode 200. We'll probably have a little brown kid that's never played <gasps> D&D before. So, oh, that's true. Oh, what? Guest star. What? Guest did you star, just? Did you just? Oh star. my god. Yeah. That's uh, oh that got me God. a little tear. No, 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 that's not what that means. That, 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 no, oh, I, no, 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 why would it be? Why? I know, right? Also, rival. We we should get this out and open. Rivals isn't about nepotism either. Right. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like no one is going to be born into this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Make it clear. We can't have legacy rivals. Hey, you know? no, I'm, I'm definitely petitioning my baby to DM season twelve. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I love DC it. is Goo Goo Gaga. Cry. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have to figure out what 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 the story is from Cry. Oh my God! I, I love yeah. Serena's. I just watched Serena's face in real time. <laughs> I realize what happened. I literally yeah. thought that's what yeah. you were saying. Like, no, no, uh, I was like, does she know? Okay. No. This was a time that you would have made that announcement. Like, You're right? Oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah. oh, okay. That is also oh. not something I would ever do. <laughs> I'm on <laughs> <laughs> that is in the first half, not gonna lie. <laughs> anyway. Uh, anyway. Just real quick. Yes, three to went through the whole emotional. Race. I did. I did. <laughs> like, what do you it know was that wild. I don't know? <laughs> yeah. Well, Carlos, now that you've scared the hell out of all of us, have you told us where to find you on the internets yet? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, under Carlos great. I lost track. I don't know. Oh. Is this road talk? <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Um, uh, <laughs> I am not pregnant. Um, <laughs> <laughs> my name is Cicero Holmes, guys. Hey, uh, Stubby Stan on all social media platforms. Uh, I just finished a uh, a story arc with uh, Cobalt Press uh, that you can find the VODs right here on Twitch slash Cobalt Press. Uh, Scarlet Citadel um, DM by yeah. the friend of the channel V Muse. Yeah. Uh, and uh, she is wonderful and obviously hosted by Little Red Dot, also friend of the channel. So uh, check that out. And then I'm doing a bunch of podcasts. If you like the things that I do, 
come follow me on social. Also, uh, if you like the sound of my voice and you want it for something that you do, hit me on my socials because hey, yeah. I'll audition for you and then I'll, <laughs> I'll book your gig. There you go. Thank you. Just pay every yeah. single person like threat, on this call. <laughs> <All right. laughs> you. I'll book your gig. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, that's all of us. Thank you so much. We are going to give that video that we uh, aborted at the top of the uh, of the Q and A one more go. Hopefully, it'll work. Uh, we, you know, it's it wouldn't be a stream if there weren't tech issues. So if it doesn't, we are going to upload it to our YouTube page. It's a really lovely video. So many folks in the community reached out to give us congratulations, and we've stitched those together. So hopefully you'll be able to see it now uh, and it'll be up on YouTube uh, very soon. And that's about it for us today. We are going to do a raid either way afterwards. So do stick around and we'll see you soon for season 11 of Rivals of Waterdeep. Thanks, everybody. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Take care. Thank you so much, everyone.